Hey everybody. Today we're going to talk about Styx Mix. Now, Styx Mix makes naturally extracted concentrates. Okay, simply put, naturally extracted means that they take the actual product, okay? They do coffees, teas, and tobaccos. So they take the actual product and extract the flavor from it for us to use uh, in whatever that we're getting around to. Okay, now, uh, there's been some talk before about uh, making your own uh, coffee extracts. Uh, and they say don't do it because of the, uh, the lipid oils that are in uh, the coffees and that uh, that can lead to lipid pneumonia, which is no fun. Um, now, what Ty does over at Styx Mix, he filters these down. He has all of his products tested, um, so he knows that they're safe for people to use. Um, but the filtration level that he goes through is just crazy. Uh, if you wanna hear more about that, a uh, while back here on DIY Down Under, Mixing With Me Mates on YouTube, uh, Ty was on the show and uh, he kind of got into a little bit, to a little bit of that about uh, the filtration process and the fact that everything gets tested. Um, they are completely safe to use and they are great. Now, after we did that show, shout out to Ty Edwards. He sent me out some samples. Uh, and I've bought some since then. Um, but everything that, that I've tried is just great. Um, I've tried coffees and teas. I have not got to the tobaccos yet. I'm gonna be working on those this week probably. Um, so that being said, uh, these coffees, they don't have any of that, that, uh, that chemical taste or some people call it burnt popcorn. I say they taste skunky. Um, you know, these don't have any of that. Uh, it's just coffee, just plain, natural, like black coffee. Uh, so then you've got some place to put in your creams and your other flavors, uh, your sweeteners, however that you like your coffee, okay? Uh, like I said, they are, they are uh, really, really good. Um, so they're worth giving them a try in my opinion. Um, so let's take a look at what we're gonna mix up today and then we'll go in the back and mix it. Okay, so here we are with the recipe. It's butter pecan bourbon coffee. Put a few flavor notes in here, or I don't know if I'd call them flavor notes, but uh, yeah, I guess they kind of are. I uh, guess they kind of are. We'll go over those here a little bit. Uh, this real flavor aged bourbon cream, uh, I've used that before in a couple other recipes. Uh, there is a nice bourbon note to that. Uh, like I said, with this coffee, uh, you barely taste the bourbon, if at all. Uh, but once it steeps, uh, it gives you a really good, uh, kind of a caramely vanilla note. Um, and then the bourbon is kind of on the back end of that after it steeps. Uh, when you first mix it, the bourbon is more present, but not in this mix, okay? So you can shape and vape this mix, but pretty much all you're gonna taste is coffee when you first mix it. Um, F.A. Vanilla Bourbon, nothing to really talk about there. Uh, Flavor West Butter Pecan and the Butter Pecan Ice Cream from One on One. Now the One on One Butter, Pec butter Pecan Ice Cream uh, it's mostly cream. There is a light butter pecan note to it. Um, so I added the Flavor West butter pecan to kind of push up the butter pecan note. Uh, feel free to substitute the one-on-one uh, -on -one butter pecan. Uh, some people like that more. 
uh, I would use it probably around the same percentage. Um, so that's kind of just up to you and your preferences. The Italian roast, again, that sticks mix, uh, no off notes. Um, just a great coffee flavor. Uh, no chemical, no burnt, no burnt flavor. Uh, and these these sticks mix, they are pre-steeped, right? So they are ready to use. Uh, the 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 teas I think benefit a little bit from steeping, and the coffee may too. But I can vape it on the shake, uh, and again, I don't get any off notes from it. Uh, you know, a lot of the other coffees you got to let steep for quite a while. Uh, this recipe here, I'm recommending a five-day steep. That's to let that butter pecan ice cream, the bourbon cream, uh, and the butter pecan just kind of come out a little more to stand up against this coffee. Um, and again, when I vape this, I get butter pecan, creamy caramel on the inhale. And then as you exhale, it's a pretty smooth transition to the... Uh, the end of the cream and then a little coffee at the end. Um, well, like I said, I really enjoy this mix. I hope you all do too. Uh, so let's go. Let's go mix this in the back. See y'all back there. front uh, I'm gonna vape a little bit of this uh, this is what I had left in a previous bottle that I mixed but as you can see uh, of course it's gonna be backwards at least to me it looks backwards uh, but it's butter pecan coffee um, really good y'all uh, like I said I hope y'all enjoy it uh, like the video hit the little bell over there if you want to notify you whenever I put a video up uh, I've got a couple videos in the can now so no telling when I'll release those but trying to get on a schedule where I'm regularly releasing stuff uh, so yeah uh, that's what I got y'all uh, Stay safe out there. Keep trucking. Be nice to other people. 
uh, it's really not that hard, and it makes you feel good just because, you know, uh, you treated somebody good, and then in return, somebody treats you good. So, uh, anyway, keep on trucking and keep on vaping. We'll catch you next time. Thanks.